Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can retain transparency when exporting files from After Effects. So to get started we're going to open up After Effects and I basically have just a blank new composition right here. So the first thing that we're going to do is actually just build something on stage. So what I'm going to do is just go up to layer new and I'm just going to go to solid and I'm just going to make a blue solid. You can pick whatever color you want. We'll click OK. All right, so now I'm just going to take and make a circle, and I'm just going to try and make something um, with a little bit of transparency, a little bit of feathering, so you can kind of get a good idea of what exactly uh, we're doing here in After Effects. So I'm going to go up and grab my ellipse tool. Now, this isn't actually drawing a circle. What this is doing is when you drag out and hold shift, it's taking and drawing a mask for a circle. So you're actually masking that solid that you made. So once I do that, then you can see that I have a new mask on my royal blue solid. And you can take and click this little triangle to go down. Close that up a little bit so you can see a little better. And what we can do is actually take the mask feathering and turn that up. And you'll start to see it actually um, begin to feather our circle. Now, seeing as we did that, it actually makes our circle a little smaller. So what you can actually do is take this mask expansion and kind of turn that up. And then you can even, once you've done that, feather it a little bit more. So we can get a nice fade on our circle. Might turn that down a little just so it doesn't touch the edge. All right, so now once we've done that, you can take and, I don't know, put whatever else you want. Uh, maybe we want to take and put some text. So we'll make a new text layer, and we'll just do RCG for River City Graphics. And once I have that, um, basically I have a little stroke on it over here. You can take and change that around to whatever color you want on your stroke. And then you can crank up the stroke value uh, using this option right here. So I'm just going to take and scale that down and now we have a nice little graphic. Um, nothing super fancy but it has some transparency back here in the background. Now the thing about After Effects is if we were to take and save this out right now, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. We're going to uh, make sure you have this little render queue option open. I think if you don't have that you can go up to window and then you can see a uh, render queue and it'll pull it up. So what you want to do is make sure that you've clicked on your comp window and it's outlined in yellow so that you know that that window is activated. Then go up to composition add to render queue. All right, so now that we've added it to the render queue, one thing we need to check in our composition settings is we want to make sure that this is not um, a super long composition. So I'm just going to scroll in, and basically it will only export what you have in your uh, little work area, so this, this area that you have um, kind of quarantined off. So I have it from zero to one second, no animation in there, but um, we just want to keep it short so that it renders quick. So we'll go to the render queue, and what we want to do um, is basically just leave it on the default settings for now. We can take and call this no underscore transfer, no transparency, save that, and then hit render. So it's going to render to my desktop lickety split because it's only a one second video. And what we can actually do is take and go to New Composition, just make another composition with the same settings, um, 1080p. And then I can take and import that from the desktop. I'll just say No Trans. We'll pull that in. And then we can drag it out. Now you'll see what happens is when we export that, it becomes a black shape. So if we had anything behind it, like say um, I wanted to pull in maybe um, I have a stock media library here. We'll just pull in kind of a stock photo. We got some stock photos. Let's grab a texture and we'll pull that in. So you can see if we actually layer this texture on here and drag it below our graphic that we made, you can see that After Effects makes, um, on just with its default settings, um, we'll take and export black. Even though we put nothing behind it, if we go back to our composition where we made this graphic, so that's composition one, you can see that there's nothing underneath this. We have our royal blue solid, which is being masked, and we have our text. There's no black underneath there. But because we didn't specify it to be exported um, with transparency, we get this nice black outline on our video. So I'm just going to take and turn that layer off because that's no good to us. So what we want to do is come back into Composition 1, and if you actually want to see the transparency within After Effects, what you can do is click this little um, checkerboard icon next to your active camera button, and you can see uh, when, you when you hover over it, it shows Toggle Transparency Grid, and if you click that, now this didn't actually enable transparency um, in your save file, but what it does is allows you to see um, what is actually transparent, so it's a lot like creating a transparent document in Photoshop. 
So once you've done this, the real magic happens when you're in the render queue. So I'm just going to take and delete out our old one. Um, it basically just keeps this clean. There's really, you don't have to do that. But I'm just gonna go back to composition one, go up to composition, click add to render queue. So now we have a new file um, in here. And what we're going to do is click where it says lossless and it's going to pull up this dialog box and you have some different settings in here. You can um, enable audio if you have that. What we're looking for is the channels option where it says RGB. We're going to click on that and go down to RGB plus alpha. Now the alpha channel, um, which is what we're actually selecting, both RGB and alpha, um, the alpha is what holds the transparency. So when we export both of those, you're actually going to retain your transparency uh, much like you would in a PNG file. So I'm just going to click OK. We can take and save this one as transparent. Okay, we'll save that to the desktop and don't forget to click render. We'll go over to composition two and now we can take and double click within our files right here and it'll bring up a window to import. So now I can go to my desktop. We'll search for that transparent file, transparent.avi, open her up and we can drag it right onto there. Now it looks like it has the black in there but check it out. We've got our transparency completely saved right here. Now, um, this is definitely something that's helpful uh, in After Effects and it's pretty hard if you don't know um, where exactly those settings are to do it. Um, basically, you use transparency in all kinds of things. If you need to export um, from one file to another because you want to save on render time or say that you're making, um, think of like news or something when they have those, those little um, boxes that come out and they say like the person's name that they're actually reporting on. Um, sometimes those have transparency in them and you actually want that transparency transparency to show on top of the other video. So um, that's a good way to retain it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Um, this is also good for if you're actually taking and um, creating stock media libraries. That's one thing I wanted to mention. Um, a lot of times online you'll see um, stock media libraries for video where they're selling muzzle flashes or explosions um, and they'll actually sell um, sell it with the pretense that it's pre-keyed and it's got transparency enabled so if you're actually selling components um, say that this was a muzzle flash and we went through all the trouble to get the muzzle flash isolated um, then this would also be good for you so I just wanted to mention that to you guys so hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, and I will see you next week thanks for watching